morning, church. Chris Selby here with a word of encouragement for today, March 8th. And the word comes out of 1 Peter chapter 2 as we continue to talk about the I am statements of Jesus. And this week, we talk about Jesus saying, I am light. There's a passage in uh, 1 Peter that uh, Peter uses that term to speak to the people. I'd like you to hear that. And uh, this is about you, my friends. So listen up. This is out of 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9. But you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a people belonging to God, that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. There it is, light. Peter is uh, urgent that the Christians of his day, even though spread out, coming from a lot of different places, but believing in Jesus, understand this about themselves, that something is, something has happened, and they are. What is about these believers is that they have been delivered from darkness into light. Now, we're not quite sure what Peter meant, and we, there are many sermons trying to grasp what was Peter talking about. I think it could mean a lot of things. Um, but he says, what is, is you are no longer in darkness, you are in light. That's a, a, a place of our heart, our attitude, our spirit, our eternity. And he says this about the believers. He wants them to know this about themselves. You are chosen, you are royal, you are holy, and you belong to to God. That is Christian community. That's us, my friend, and that's you. What is, is you are chosen, special belonging to God. What's interesting is Peter begins this letter to them in chapter 1 with these words, Therefore, rid yourselves of all malice, of all deceit, of all hypocrisy, envy, and slander. That tells us it must have been going on. So he's speaking to a Christian community. What is, is that they live in light. And yet there is some of this um, relational devastation going on. And he exhorts them not to be that. You know, in our time, um, there is much of this. Uh, whether it's politics, we had the State of the Union address last night and, or last week now. And uh, coming out of that, you might have discussions with people and, and passions raise. And, uh, and we as a Christian community might uh, speak things that come across as deceitful, hypocrisy, envy, slander. And, and what Peter wants us to know through this passage is that is not how we are to be because we are not that. What is, is we are delivered from darkness into light. And we need to live as strangers in this community with a different perspective. I just want to encourage you as you have discussions with anybody, whether it's at work or school or your family, even your loved ones, when it comes to those things that um, try to drag us back into the ways that once were, darkness. Certainly darkness is described as deceit, hypocrisy, envy, slander. Uh, that we need to remember this, that we are holy, chosen, royal, belonging to God, delivered from darkness into the light. So my encouragement for you today is to live what is. Live what is. What is, is you are chosen of God in light. And we can live in that. So until next time, Chris Selby out. Love you much.